Hello and welcome guys. Today's topic is about Linux booting issues. I'm going to show you two booting issue in Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6 and how to troubleshoot that and how you are going to bring your system back online quickly. Okay. So as you can see I have one system which is RHL 6 and if I just do a release you can see it is 6.8 so I'm going to reboot the system first and see what is the error I face I usually use init 6 command to reboot my system you can also use reboot command and I just press escape to see what is running background so I can see my system is going down and now it is in the process of booting up again I press escape key to see what is running background and it had landed into here and given some error and it is unable to go beyond and it is unable to boot the system so let me read the error here the last line where you can see here it says the reply timeout expired or the network connection was broken so when you face this error then how you are going to troubleshoot it so first thing when you see this error you probably think the network connection was broken and there is something in my network or if it is a VM there could be an issue with my VM profile but let me tell you guys this is nothing to do with your networking so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to reboot the system so to reboot my system let me just go to my profile in VMware workstation and do a restart and once you can see this login or menu screen you just have to go inside single user mode I believe you know already how to go into single user mode if you're not then just press E in menu prompt and here you just need to go to kernel line and press E again and type init equal to bin sh then enter and to boot the system in single user mode press B it should give me a cell prompt and now I can see a cell prompt here okay so first thing if you are do if you are trying to do something and trying to make some changes in single user mode you need to make your read, make your root partition in read write mode so example now if I just do a touch and try to create a file it says read only mode so what I have to do is I need to remount my root partition with read write so now I would be able to write it so the error which I have showed you that error is regarding whenever you face this issue you need to check two file the file is less etc password and the other file is less etc nss switch dot conf if you have any issues or discrepancy in this two file you would end up or end up with this error which I have showed so now in this demo what I have done is I have nullify or make the password file 0 kb in order to get that error so what I'm going to do is I'm going to revert back and I have a password file backup I'm going to just make that backup in slash etc password file right so I just move that file and now if I just do cat and password I can see there is a contain inside this file so this is what you have to do and also you need to ensure your nsswitch.conf file whether there is a contain and 
there is no syntax error in this file right so once you are done with this you just need to reboot your system let me just clear the screen and initiate a reboot So now it is trying to again boot up the system. It is currently checking the UDEM. And now I can see my error which was related to network card broken is not showing currently and now I have a different issue. So first issue which I had that is resolved and now I can see there is something with related file system. Why? Because whenever you see a control D prompt here that is that means there is something in your file system you do not have your slash etc fstf file created properly or some syntax error in that file or you may have inconsistency in the file system so here when it is trying to check my root file system which is log wall 0000 and it was unable to check or it was unable to run e2fsck and it was aborted and that is why it gives me a control d prompt here so what i have to do to correct this is i need to give the root password so i just press the root password and now i am in a prompt i'm in a cell prompt so now the next thing what i have to do is i have to run e2fsck against this file system so to run that first thing what I have to do is I need to unmount my root file system probably I can run like this unmount slash or you can also specify mapper vg like this so it is already unmounted that is why it gives it is already it is not mounted or not found correct so now once you have done that you just need to run e2 fsck and specify the device so device is vg this is the vg and my volume is log wall 00 so once i run this it says now my file system is clean and this is the file block size from here to here so now it looks good and my file system consistency looks good so I am good to reboot my system and see whether my system is boot up or not and let me just press escape again to see what's running in the background and it looks like I do not have any issues because it's it checks the data VG and also root VG so it doesn't it did not find any error here you can see it is clean here the STM one and also the other file system and it is going to give me a login prompt here it is so let me just log in here we go so my system is back and the error which I had while rebooting my system is no longer there so my system is healthy now so this is how you have to troubleshoot your booting issue if you have faced the issues which I have showed you regarding file system and also network card broken uh, the, there are two types of error which I have showed and how to troubleshoot it and probably you need to follow the procedure which I have showed you. 
so that's it guys for this video i will show you some more boot related issues in my coming video thank you so much for watching my video have a good day